Now that you've got the basic operations of the machine down, it's time to talk about workflow and setup in your harvest process. You'll want to position the bucker as close as possible to where you're doing your chop and park it on level ground and block the tires or lock the casters. The chop is the most important part of the harvest process and I can't stress to you enough the importance of proper stem preparation. Consider carefully the type of cannabis you're about to harvest before you start your chop. Once you've decided on a chop method, make sure that your harvest crew keeps the stems organized to make the bucker operator as effective as possible. Organize the stems in your bins with the ends of the stems pointed up so that the operator of the bucker can easily grab them. Branches containing a lot of flowers coming directly off of the stem can be inserted directly into the machine to strip effectively. Bushy strains with lots of sub-branches will need to be broken down in order to buck effectively. So this is a pretty prime example of a stem that's been cut that needs to be broke down further in order for the bucker to be as effective as possible. These branches have a tendency to fold in, protecting the flowers inside the crotch of the branches. If we can just come in here and clip some of these sub-branches off before we run it and run those other branches individually, now that we're down to the point to where this has less sub-branches, we can run that whole stem and it'll strip the whole thing. In order to get the most out of your bucker, you need to prepare the stems properly. Make sure that the end of the stem isn't flared and doesn't have any flappers so that inserting into the hole is as easy as possible. Here's an example of an improperly chopped stem. If we inserted this in the machine, we would be sticking it in too big of a hole to strip the majority of the plant. We want to get rid of this nub so that the stem more accurately represents the diameter of the entire thing. Here's a great example of a stem that's been properly prepared during the chop. We've got about three inches of clear stem so the machine can grab it and we don't have too many sub branches. As your harvest crew is working with the mother bucker for the first time, I suggest that everyone takes a turn running stems so that they understand clearly how important proper stem preparation is to efficiency. Once you have some prepared stems, it's time to buck. The key to perfectly stripped stems is crucial but simple. Pick the smallest hole that the stem will fit into. If you pick a hole that's too big, you'll end up with flour left on the stem. From time to time, the machine can clog. In this case, stop the machine, put the selector switch to reverse, start the machine again, back out the clogged material. Once the clog has been cleared, stop the machine again, switch to forward, and start normal operation. Let's talk about organization. Make sure that the stems are in a position so that the operator of the bucker doesn't have to walk, reach, or lean over to grab incoming material. The outgoing stems will also need to be managed. In order to do this safely, I suggest turning off the machine first and clearing up piles as they accumulate. One of the major keys to efficiency for the mother bucker is to always keep the machine working. The bucker operator should never stop to trim a stem with a pair of scissors. Again, properly prepared stems are the key to efficient operation.